Okay, so just a couple days into free agency, things are heating up for the Eagles as they just went out and made the huge signing that Eagles fans were hoping for by bringing back this star safety from their Super Bowl 57 team to help solidify their secondary. But with that good news, we also got some bad news that the Birds are on the verge of trading one of their Pro Bowl pass rushers in Josh Sweat, so what could this mean for Hassan Reddick? Plus, the Eagles have made some more changes to their roster in free agency, and there's also plenty more to come. So I'm going to talk about all the latest news from a wild start to free agency in this video today, and we won't waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so of course, the biggest news from the first day of free agency for the Eagles was the signing of Saquon Barkley, and despite the fact that there are some concerns with Saquon's injury history or the amount of money that they paid him, there is still obviously a lot to like about the move, and I broke that all down in my video yesterday, so if you want to check that out after this one, you can, but in addition to all the positives from an on-field perspective about the move, one of the other good things that has come out of this is the reaction from Giants fans. Is it safe to say that they're not handling it very well? I mean, we've seen them burning jerseys and also, of course, trash talking on social media, which is just hilarious considering the the fact that the Giants didn't even offer him a contract to keep him. I mean, you can't really blame Saquon for just getting his bag and coming home at the end of the day, but still, you got guys like former Giants running back Tiki Barber coming out and going after Barkley as he said, quote, you're dead to us, Saquon. Good luck. You're dead to me. Now, Barber has received a good amount of heat for this, even from Giants fans, and Saquon wasn't having it either as he clapped back saying, quote, you've been a hater since I got to New York and all the dead to me talk. Don't smile in my face when you see me. Man, Saquon, you're fitting right in already. I mean, welcome to Philly, and I I just can't wait to watch you torch your former team. Now moving on here, free agency is continuing to roll on after the day one edition of Saquon Barkley and Bryce Huff and all the other things that happened for the Eagles in that day, and we just got a bunch more news about the Eagles and different moves that they have or are planning to make. Now don't worry, we're going to get into that in just a minute, but first I want to take a minute to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Factor 75. Now Factor Meal's main goal is to provide quick and easy but also filling and healthy meals to its customers, so for someone like me, that's perfect because I'm always busy doing something and especially now with free agency starting up, it's hard for me to find the time to cook my meals. So I need something quick, but at the same time, I want to be eating healthy, which is why Factor is such a convenient option. Because not only are the meals chef made with fresh ingredients and dietitian approved, but they also take just a couple minutes to heat up and they're ready to eat, making them a much better alternative to fast food or takeout. Not to mention the fact that they create no mess and they taste pretty great. Plus, with all the different meal preference options Factor offers, you can find something that fits your needs perfectly. So for me, the Protein Plus option was a great fit. So if this interests you, you can get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. So click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. And thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now, the Eagles have started off day two of free agency by signing a new offensive lineman as they just added former Falcons center slash guard. Matt Hennessy, with both Zach Berman and Bo Wolf reporting the news, with Wolf saying, quote, Eagles have agreed to terms with offensive lineman Matt Hennessy on a one-year deal. Guard slash center versatility for the Temple product, 22 career starts with the Falcons. Now, this is definitely an interesting but also very smart signing because, of course, with Jason Kelsey retiring, the Eagles just need more depth on the interior of the offensive line, and it's also unclear as to who's going to start at right guard next year with Cam Jurgens sliding to the starting center spot. And Hennessy is a candidate to do any number of those things, as in his career with the Falcons, he has plenty of playing experience, as like the tweet mentioned, he has started 22 games out of 41, and he spent time in multiple positions. Now, his primary position in Atlanta, where he played the most, was at center, as he was the starting center for the team in 2021, so he definitely is a prime candidate to be the Eagles' backup center this year. But Hennessy also then moved to left guard in 2022 while still in Atlanta. Now, he was then set to be the Falcons' starting left guard this past year in 2023, but he hurt his knee early in training camp and missed the entire season. But based off the fact that he was set to be the team starting guard, the Falcons definitely had confidence in his ability at that position, so it wouldn't surprise me, at least at this point, if he's going to have a chance to compete with Tyler Steen to be the starter at right guard, but at the very least, he adds depth to the interior of the offensive line at center or at guard, so I just think that this is a pretty solid move. But this isn't the only solid move that the Eagles made on Tuesday, as they went out and signed former Pats and Dolphins wide receiver Devontae Parker, with Adam Schefter reporting, quote, Eagles and former Patriots wide receiver Devontae Parker reached agreement on a one-year $4.69 million fully guaranteed deal, of which Philadelphia has to pay only $1.2 million, with New England paying the rest. Quote, Devontae is thrilled and grateful to become a Philadelphia Eagle and to help this elite organization win a championship, said Parker's agent Jimmy Gold. Now, we all know that the Eagles were in need of a wide receiver three this offseason, and even though Parker definitely isn't the rising star that he once was in Miami, he still, in my mind, is a better option than Quest Watkins or whoever else the Eagles had at wide receiver three last year, aside from maybe Oz, I guess you could make that argument, but Parker still definitely does have some ability left. Last year with the Pats, his numbers, to be 
be fair, they were not very good. He had 33 catches for 394 yards and no touchdowns, but this was also in a terrible Pats offense with no quarterback, so you have to keep that in mind, and he did make some good plays during the course of the year, and like I said, he definitely still does have some ability left. He's a bigger receiver that can go up and get a jump ball occasionally, so again, sure, he's not a great player, and he's not going to make a huge impact on this Eagles offense, but overall, I do think that this is a solid signing for good value at the wide receiver three position, so I do like it. Now, those moves were a little bit smaller and less significant than the ones that they made on Monday, but the Eagles just couldn't seem to go a whole day without making another splash move, as of course, the Eagles were still in desperate need of a safety after the first day of free agency, and there was a ton of speculation about a potential CJ Gardner-Johnson reunion, as there were tons of reports saying that the Eagles were interested in bringing him back to Philly. I mean, on Monday, Derek Gunn said, quote, Eagles still have a lot of interest in CJ GJ, stay tuned, and then on Tuesday, ML Football tweeted out, quote, sources, the Eagles are trying to get a deal done with CJ Gardner-Johnson, and now... It's official. CJ is back. As Tom Palisaro reported, quote, veteran DB Chauncey Gardner-Johnson is returning to the Eagles on a three-year deal worth up to $33 million per his agents Kevin Connor and Robert Brown at Uni Sports. Gardner-Johnson just turned 26, now back with the team he helped reach a Super Bowl. So this is definitely very, very exciting. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I love CJ when he was here, and I was sad to see him go last offseason. So now that he's back, I absolutely love it because in addition to him obviously being a very good player, he also brings an added toughness and physicality and mentality that the Eagles defense was sorely lacking this past season, and he's also still young at 26 years old, so I think getting him back for three years is a great move, and he's now going to be here again for years to come, and $11 million per season does not seem like that much to me at all, so again, I'm excited about this, and I'm also willing to look past all that stuff he said about the Philly fans last summer, and it seems like he's already moved past that too, as obviously for one, he's back in Philly, but he also took to Twitter and said, quote, flying home to celebrate coming back, so welcome back, CJ. We're glad to have you back and let's go finish what we started the last time you were here. Now, in addition to adding pieces on Tuesday, the Eagles also did lose someone as their backup quarterback from this past season in Marcus Mariota is switching teams in the NFC East. With Adam Schefter reporting, quote, former Eagles quarterback Marcus Mariota is signing with the Washington Commanders on a one-year deal with a base value of $6 million and an upside up to $10 million per source. So, for the Commanders, their quarterback situation is definitely getting interesting. They still obviously have Sam Howell. They also have the second overall pick in the draft, and a lot of people expect them to take a quarterback there, and now obviously they add Marcus Mariota, so it is going to be interesting to see who the starter is in week one, but for the Eagles, I mean, honestly, it really just is what it is. Marcus Mariota obviously didn't really get on the field at all, which is a good thing, but I guess he did fine as the Eagles backup, and now the Birds are just tasked with finding another one, so I guess we'll see what happens after the Birds lost Mariota and where they decide to turn at backup quarterback. Now, in addition to the Mariota loss, it seems like the Eagles are officially on the verge of losing one of their top pass rushers from the past few years, as of course we all know about the trade rumors involving Josh Sweat over these past few days, as a report came out recently saying that the Eagles were shopping Josh Sweat and potentially looking to move on as the 26-year-old is set to enter the last year of his deal, and he could potentially command a big payday soon. And now today, we pretty much have confirmation that Sweat is probably going to be on the move, as on Instagram, Sweat commented on a Josh Sweat fan club post saying, quote, I will miss you all. And then multiple Multiple reports then came out after that saying that a trade is in the works and at this point pretty much guaranteed. John Clark said quote, it's my understanding the Eagles are trying to find a trade for Josh Sweat right now and Jeff McClain said the Eagles might even cut him if they can't find a trade partner. Overall, I mean this is definitely some sad news. Josh Sweat is a guy that battled through some serious injuries in college and fought to get where he's at. He was a fourth round pick by the Birds back in 2018 and he got better each and every year up to the point where he got 11 sacks in 2022 and became one of the best pass rushers in the league and also probably one of the most underrated ones at that. And then of course he had a down year this year and kind of fell off in the second half of the season, but that doesn't mean he's not still a great player. I think the coaching and scheme had a lot to do with his fall off and I'm confident that he's going to bounce back next year. It's just not going to be with us unfortunately, so it sucks that we're seeing going to lose a homegrown guy like Sweat, but I wish him good luck in the future. But now, you gotta ask the question, does Sweat seemingly inevitably being traded mean that the Eagles are now going to keep Hassan Reddick? Well, a lot of people seem to think that that's the case. We obviously know that both of these guys have been in trade talks recently, and the narrative and hope has kind of been that the Eagles are going to lose one, but then also be able to keep one. So, with Sweat pretty much confirmed to be getting traded, you would think that means Haas is going to be back. But according to Jake Rabati of the Liberty Line, that may not be the case. As he said, quote, I don't think Philadelphia eventually trading Josh Sweat affects Hassan Reddick's status, I think both are traded. Now, I will say, Jake has been pretty credible this offseason, so in my head, there's definitely a pretty decent chance that this is true, at least if that's what his sources are telling him, 
And I gotta say, if that is true, I don't like it. I mean, it's gonna really hurt to lose both of these guys because the Eagles are literally losing their top two pass rushers from the past two seasons and leaving themselves super thin at the edge rusher spot. Now, I am happy and confident in the addition of Bryce Huff. I think he's a beast and in a limited role in his career, he's done some really, really impressive things. Last year with the Jets, he got to 10 sacks while playing in less than half the snaps. So given a bigger role, I would assume he can produce at a much higher level. And again, I am very, very excited about that. But still, if you lose both Sweat and and Redick, then you're relying on Nolan Smith to start on the other side of Huff, and even though I like Nolan a lot and I think he's going to become a really good player one day, I'm just not super confident relying on him in that big of a role just yet, considering that he barely played at all in his rookie season last year, so... Maybe the Eagles still have a plan to bring somebody else in, but I'm just hoping they still are able to find a way to bring back Redick on a new extension. The pass rush is just so, so important to what the Eagles do, and we know that Howie builds from the trenches, so it's just hard to imagine losing both Redick and Sweat and being that thin at the edge. But I guess we'll see what happens. You guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think the Eagles should still find a way to try and keep Redick, or are you okay with losing both him and Sweat? If you... If you don't want to miss out on any other videos just like this, make sure you subscribe and also really, really importantly, turn on notifications so you get notified right away when these videos are uploaded. Also drop a like down below to show some support and leave a comment down below just regarding anything that I talked about in this video. And if you want to watch another Eagles video recapping the first day for agency, including the Saquon and Bryce Huff signings, you can check this out right here. Now, with all that being said, that's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.